Mommy's Kima, written by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow, illustrations by Ebony Glenn. A kima is a flowing scarf that my mommy wears. Before she walks out the door each day, she wraps one around her head. In mommy's closet, there are so many kimas. So many, I can't count them. Black ones, white ones, purple, blue, and red, stripes, patterns, and polka dots too. Some have tassels. Some have beads. Some have sparkly things all over. And she has my favorite color, yellow. When I put on my mommy's kima, I become a queen with a golden train. Under the kima, my braids and twists form a bumpy crown. It's not easy to cover the many plaits mommy puts into my hair. When I wear my mommy's kima, I shine like the sun. I dive and become a shooting star into a pile of clouds. Of course, I make sure that mommy doesn't see me. When I wear mommy's kima, I am a mama bird. I spread my golden wings and shield my baby brother as he sleeps in his nest. Mommy shakes her head, but her eyes are smiling. When I wear mommy's kima, I am a superhero in a cape, dashing from room to room at the speed of light. Daddy snatches me up and I fly. Mommy can't stop laughing when his bristly beard tickles my cheek with a kiss. When I wear my mommy's kima, mommy is with me, even when she's away. I close my eyes, and if I breathe in deeply, really deeply, I smell the coconut oil in mommy's hair and the cocoa butter on her skin. And if I breathe in even more deeply than that, I smell the cinnamon in her favorite dessert. She always shares a piece. When I wear mommy's kima and mama visits after Sunday service, she sings out, sweet Jesus and calls me sunshine. My mom doesn't wear a kima. She doesn't go to mosque like mommy and daddy do. We are a family and we love each other just the same. When I go to the mosque wearing my mom's kima, the older woman cool. Assalamu alaikum little sis. Mommy smiles so proud. My Arabic teacher exclaims, Beautiful, beautiful hijab. Hijab is the word she uses for kima. Sometimes I say hijab too. When I wear mommy's kima and we go home and it starts to get dark outside, mommy tells me gently, take it off, it's time for sleep. She removes the kima from her head and I remove mine. We hang them up for the night. I look around at all the kimas, too many to count. I stroke the yellow scarf one last time. I close my eyes and breathe in deeply, really deeply. And if I breathe in deeply enough, I can take mommy's kima with me. I place it inside my head. I take other things and place them there too. A crown with a train, the sun in a shooting star, a baby dozing on a golden wing. I take a ticklish kiss in the sky, coconut and cocoa with a cinnamon sweet, and the prayers of gray-haired women. I take all these things with me and go to sleep. Though mama is away, it feels like she comes too. Hey friends, it's me, Miss Olivia. Thank you guys so much for listening in to Mommy's Kima. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this book as much as I did. Until next time, my name is Miss Olivia. This is Miss Olivia Reads, and I cannot wait for you to go on another reading adventure with me. Bye, friends.